Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Today I'm going to be looking at two synthesizers, looking at Surge, the old version on the left. So I decided uh, to make this video, you guys, just as like, a, you know, informative video. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm actually comparing these two. Let's compare these two real quick because I've used the old version of Surge in the past uh, quite often. Um, it was just an older version. This is the newest one, though, which is VST3, uh, which is a free download. Check it out in the link below. You can check the uh, change notes. You can check, uh, download that. It's a small download. Get it installed. It'll install uh, VST3, so it'll already install in like the common files folder. So let's go ahead. You know, first off, right off the bat, on the right, you know, this is our new version. All right, so this is what we're seeing going into 2021. Um, this is the beta that I've downloaded. So you guys make sure just go ahead and grab the beta and right off the bat, like I haven't even used this yet, like right off the bat, you know, I'm seeing some of that nice, uh, color. So a nice, like kind of difference that I see in the UI here. Um, it's kind of a little bit more bolder, a little bit easier to read. Um, okay. That's nice. So we do have like a scalability. I don't know if that was even available in, in this one, uh, may or may not have been. Um, but that's something that I noticed right away. You can notice up here to this aesthetic difference. I kind of like that old one though, that difference there. Um, I haven't looked enough in terms of the differences in terms of sound. So, I mean, I'm going to expect the same, if not like a little bit better. Um, a lot of these things seems like it's still kept intact in the same way in terms of what we have up here, the warm, neutral, bright, still kind of similar in that sense. Uh, see if we have any new modes. It looks like we have a fourth mode now. So we had the single split and uh, dual. We got what here? Got to make that a little bit bigger. So we got key split, channel split. Okay, so going to have to experiment with some different things there. Still got that AB, but I, kinda, I like that, that top bottom. So overall, pretty good impressions just from the beginning of this. Uh, I'm going to say it's pretty good impressions. Uh, let's go ahead and just see what the init sound is like. We can see what uh, it comes with. So let's just kind of name this. So let's go in there. Uh, just call that old. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is just play a little bit on the VST3. So the new one, old one. So we're starting with the same kind of uh, sound immediately. So uh, one thing that I do like is just if we look here, there seems to be a lot more additions here. I mean, if we count this from the top three and then we got six. Okay. So a lot more that we have here, like almost double the amount of uh, selections here in terms of this, these automations. This is going to be where you're going to want to build your you know, LFO and synchronized LFO. It's very useful. You can turn it on. You can just press a button, automate something, double click to reset. So guys, this is some of the stuff I really like with this synth. Okay, nice. With the new one, we're seeing that uh, just, you know, we can see that width there with that color. That's a pretty good feedback compared to this. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You're ultimately going to be going down for uh, the sound, <laughs> that voice crack, the sound, right? So... Uh, ultimately, the sound is the most important, but right now, you know, I'm just taking that first glance. Like I said, this is my first time checking this out. Um, I did try the free version um, a while back, like when it went open source. I did try it, but I experienced some problems, so I stopped. And now in 2021, I'm like, hey, let me check it out again. Um, third party. So it looks like we got a lot of patches here. And to be honest, uh, I haven't gone through a lot of the patches, but let's uh, go ahead and just play some of these patches. Okay, nice. We can see here by the arrows. This is better, the arrows instead of the plus or minus. I think that's better communicated. I think that's a little bit better UX that they're doing here, going forward or backwards. Instead of plus or minus, this might imply that, oh, am I removing it? So good on them for changing that. 
Okay, there's some cool sounds in here. There's some nice sounds. Let's see if we can do some troll with some LFO. Okay, so it's pretty cool. We can turn that off. Now if we want to adjust this. Okay, maybe adjust the amp. Uh, maybe we can send some effects to this. So we're on A right now. So let's uh, come here, I'd say. Uh, we can follow this navigation. I think the navigation here is a little bit bolder. So that's pretty nice. It's a little bit stronger here in terms of seeing this uh, flow. The flow chart there is really demonstrated a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to come on this one, maybe look for a reverb. Let's see if we have any new effects. Oh yeah, the effect seems uh, quite, yeah, we got quite the difference there. So, I mean, right off the bat, EQ distortion, conditioner. I know conditioner has been in the old one. Frequency shifter, ring modulation, vocoder, chorus, flanger. Now, some of these I didn't have great uh, experiences with in terms of the effects. And what I'm meaning by that was that it, I just didn't find them suiting sometimes, but sometimes it works. You can slap on a bunch of effects. It sounds really good. So here, I don't even know what it's going to sound like. I'm just going to try something. They have some presets here. Anybody Canyon ghostly chamber. Okay. Let's try ghostly chamber. And that's the thing I love about this plugin guys is like, Right off the bat, I'm really liking this uh, synth, like to the point where I'm probably gonna like clone this. Let's see if I can uh, play this. So I love to clone something if I wanna keep it so I can call this like, I don't know, Wob lead. And pretty good, like today I wanted to just uh, jump into this, check it out. <laughs> I'm already impressed. So I think I'm gonna use this uh, and check out the next video that's going to be coming. I'm going to be doing a one hour, uh, like challenge, maybe one to two hour challenge. Hopefully I can do it in the, in the one hour. I want to try something where like, I'm only using one type of synth, which will be this, which will be synth, uh, the surge beta, uh, we can, which you guys can check out, uh, pretty impressed so far with the aesthetic, uh, really nice. I gotta say from what I've noticed, obviously I'm not, I'm not uh, covering everything in this video. Check out the uh, change notes so you can read everything. You can find something that's maybe pertaining what you were looking for. You want to see what happened. Uh, but yeah, this is a very good first impression of the new version of Surge. Uh, a lot cleaner UI decisions, coloring here, arrow here with the synthesizer going through the patches with a more meaningful button, a more symbol that signifies what it's doing. Um, Blue is not bad for a decision like this because red can sometimes be uh, very like aggressive looking. Um, this is still pretty recognizable and got to appreciate this, the amount of uh, additions that they've added here. So guys, I definitely recommend check out this synth. Uh, it's really fucking sick synth. Excuse my French. Uh, let's go through those patches. That's really cool. Even that reminds me of like a guitar. You could heavily distort this. And guys, the beauty in Surge is really that wave shaper. Because you can give it as much drive as you want. And if you combine it with the cutoff and do some automations, you're going to get some very thick sounds. Uh, if you do some fat ones, whether it's like 24 dB or anything else, you can just get some crazy stuff. Right? Like right now that sounds like theory, uh, sounds pretty throaty and we can give maybe a, a little bit of release to it. 
So even just like that, we have a sick sound. We have this, which is like, a, reminds me of something like really wide, like a wide wob. And even this, which sounds like an orc with like a guitar type of sound. So just checking that out. I'm going to clone that one too and just call it Goblin Guitar. And we can continue checking this out. Let's uh, check out some of the leads. Okay, those are some cool vibes. Wow, that's these are some really great sounds. I mean, that's not even modified, so whatever I'm gonna call it, whatever it is, agro culture. So pretty good, man. I gotta, I gotta say, guys, uh, definitely check this one out. Uh, heavily recommend it, and I think because now we have VST three version, hopefully it's gonna run a little bit better also. And that's pretty much a wrap. Check out this uh, plugin. Link is in the video description. I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just uh, sharing my interest in this. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. That's a wrap. Uh, and check out the next video that I'm going to be posting. It's going to be that one hour of the big room track project. Whatever we do, big room or whatever. All right, take it easy, guys.